my news feed on Facebook and I found out this uh, event that was happening in New York. So it was the IXCA Student Design Challenge being held by Intel. So um, I didn't really have time at the moment to you know check this out. So what I did was I forwarded the link to OBS and Huria so they could tell me what it was all about. Uh, I was actually very busy at the moment, so I couldn't check it myself. So three days later, Avast tells me that he had applied to the event and we're going to New York. And I was like, okay, but since I didn't really see the competition, I was like, could you tell me exactly what we're going to have to do in this? He was like, yeah, that's where the bad news comes in. He says, this is not an engineering design competition. This is an interaction design competition. For those of you who don't know, interaction design is a pure fine art, which I know very little about. So I actually uh, got the chance to go to New York, and I was alone there because uh, I was going to come to me because of personal reasons. So there I was alone, and uh, when I met the other finalists, uh, I wanted to you know feel them out as well, like what kind of competition I'm up against. So these are all really talented and really nice individuals from all around the world, representing great universities like the Royal College of Arts, uh, New York University, uh, the Institute of Design in Omea. So, we, when we were doing this little icebreaker session, I wanted to see, uh, you know, where everyone is at, what is their level. So they started talking like, uh, I'm only a first semester student, we're the only freshmen here, I'm a fourth semester student. So I was feeling pretty confident, which is a childish thing to do, first of all. I was like, I graduated, I can totally take on these kids, right? Well, I was wrong. Turns out they were master's students in design in interaction design, the exact field which I had applied to. Now, I'm an electrical engineer. I'm only like a part-time visual designer, so this was going to be a real challenge for me. And later on, I found out uh, that we were not going to present our project there. We're going to present all the things, all the advancements that we make on top of that project that we learned from this conference. So I was obviously worried. I, don't, I wasn't prepared for this. So I asked them, what format do we have to present in? And they said, you're going to have to make a video because you're all designers. Now, I don't have a problem with video or videography, but the problem was that each and every one of these amazing, talented individuals had not a MacBook, a MacBook Pro, and a DSLR, multiple DSLRs with multiple lenses, with lots of tripods and those slidey thingies, you know, which <laughs> do that awesome cinematography. So, and guess what I had? I had the Prime Minister laptop with me. <laughs> so, Yeah, I, I, I didn't know I was supposed to make a video. So, uh, the Prime Minister laptop is a great laptop. <laughs> I mean, it's thin and light, but that's just about it. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't have a camera, I just had my phone with me. And I was like, okay, it's time to improvise, I can do this. And uh, so during the conference, the first two days, we had to actually brainstorm our, our idea and how we can improve its interaction design. So interaction design is how people interact uh, with different products, different services, what their experience is. And uh, this is actually a really great designer, uh, Brendan. And what we did is that we made uh, like a, a chart with post-it notes. So we uh, showed our, you can say a thought process. We showed our thought process, uh, how we can make the device better, how we can make uh, the interaction design better. So we came up with this. Uh, this is actually the original design of our device. As you can see, it's really clunky. There's several modules, and each of them require a particular setup. So what we did is that we designed this sleep. So everything is in place, and you know the whole thing, the whole experience of putting on this device is actually pretty, you know, smooth and streamlined. You just take the device, and you wear it, and you put it on, uh, uh, turn it on, and that really takes care of everything. So. Uh, <laughs> This is where the interesting part comes in. So on, I believe it was the 7th of February at 3 p.m., all the brainstorming sessions were over. So they told us you have exactly 24 hours, well, I guess 22 hours, to make the video or the presentation and send it to us. So I told the chair that I don't have a good laptop right now. Could you, like, help me out or something? He's like, you can just make a PDF. Now, I know I wasn't going to win using a PDF, but it was better than nothing, right? So at 3 p.m., I had to, you know, start making the video. So uh, since we were using sleeves in our design, I just Googled up the, uh, you could say, the closest Nike store, went there, got two sleeves, 
and went back to the hotel at around, I believe, four, where my roommate, who was also a finalist, he was sleeping. So, I was like really scornful at that time. I, you know, when he looked at me in his sleep, I was like, you're either the best designer in the world or you really don't care about this competition. And he's like, I'm just tired, man. I just need to get some rest and move on. And I was like, that's a great idea. I thought as well. So, well, it's midnight now. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Especially considering my situation. So it's 12 now. And um, I wake up and I realize uh, the video I have to make. So um, I actually started, I turned on my laptop and started making these little designs, which I could put in my video. And then at one, I just wanted to get a little air. So I go down to the reception and I'm like, receptionists are very nice. So maybe I can use him as an actor, right? I go up to him, I explain my whole idea, he loves it, but he doesn't want to be in the video. He says, maybe my colleague can help out. I ask, her, uh, I ask his colleague, and she says that what exactly would I have to do? I had made this uh, little storyboard. Uh, I told her, this is you. <laughs> Your hands are shaking. Uh, you're sad. Everybody else is not. You put on this device, and you know it's going to be great after that, because your hands won't shake. So uh, we actually had to show the concept of the device. So uh, this would have been an, appro uh, an appropriate way to do it. So what we did is that she tells she tells me that she can uh, shoot the video, but she'll have to do it on her break. And I'm like, when is your break? She says at 3 a.m. I say, I say, okay, let's do it. I go back to my room and I make this whole storyboard where I decide where the camera will go, how it will, you know, pan around and show her emotions to really get that, you know, emotional experience going. So at three, uh, it was actually raining at that time, and it was like the the temperatures were around zero during those days. So. <coughs> What happened then was, uh, I go down and I'm in a jacket and a muffler, so I go up to the receptionist and he starts laughing at me. And I'm confused, naturally. I'm like, why are you laughing? He says, where are you going? And I'm saying, uh, I guess we would have to go out to shoot the video because we can't shoot in the hotel premises. And he's, he laughs again. <laughs> and I really don't understand, I'm confused. Then the woman comes out, uh, the one who's going to be in the video, and she says, um, Again, first of all, she laughs as well. And then she says, where are you going? And I'm just confused. I'm like, is there something that I misunderstood here? And she's like, oh, we can't make the video. And I say, why? <laughs> why Why would you do that? She said, I'm not really comfortable leaving the hotel premises. And I couldn't really even say anything to that because I just met those two. So I'm like, it's OK. I go back up to my hotel room, and I'm so angry. I just start throwing things around, soft things, obviously. Because I don't want them to show up on my incidentals. So at 3 p.m. I decide uh, I'm going to use a comic style and I'm just going to use PDF. I think you might have seen Cyanide and Happiness. I guess that's kind of inspired by that. So I was like, I'm going to make not a video but a slideshow and maybe that will work out. So I started making, the, uh, started making these, uh, you could say, comic panels and there were like 30 of them that I decided on. And then I later realized that my battery was uh, going down on my laptop. I go for my charger. I don't have my charger. <laughs> so it turns out I left it at the venue. So I only had one and a half hours of battery to make, uh, you know, like everything. At least until 8 o'clock, I guess. So uh, I, I, turn off, I put down my laptop lid. I sketch exactly what I have to put on the comics, right? And then uh, I just quickly open my laptop and just start working. And out of the 30 frames, I'm able to create like 16 or 18 of them. And then it's 6 o'clock, so uh, I think I should get some sleep because I'm not going to be presenting a video. I'm going to be on stage presenting myself. So uh, I sleep, and uh, what? And you know, at 8 o'clock, I believe I reached the venue because that's the time it opens. So I quickly go in, put my charger on. Now Adobe, the ones who make Photoshop, Illustrator, etc., they were actually sponsoring this event too. So they had this, you could say, uh, Wi-Fi thing going. So I connected to that Wi-Fi, and those people realized that my software was region locked. So <laughs> my my software like said I'm going into viewer mode, and you cannot save or export anything. And uh, I was just like confused because now my software was like, uh, it, it just got stuck. And then I tried doing something, my computer restarted, and when I opened it up, everything was gone. 
<laughs> Everything I created was gone. <laughs> so it was nine o'clock. I had nothing. <laughs> Not for lack of trying. <laughs> so um, at this point, I'll be honest with you. I was about to give up. I literally stopped thinking about the solution of the problem. I started thinking about the mistakes I did in my life that led me to this point. <laughs> it took me at least five to ten minutes to get out of bed. <laughs> so uh, I put my laptop in flight mode, uh, restarted it. Turns out I can still get you know one image out at a time. So by 1:30, I just make something and just push it out. I'm like, here you go, and you know I'm just gonna present at Fireball. So this is me presenting. You can see the happiness on my face. <laughs> Because I usually smile when I present, not this time. So, uh, and you know, after all this that I've been through, and the, these were, I think, one of the most stressful days of my life. So, after doing that, I didn't really expect anything. I was just happy that I represented. I didn't come up with nothing because that was what's going to happen if I didn't do all that. But uh, I got third place globally, so that was great. <laughs> genuinely proud of myself at that moment. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that was actually uh, one of the most interesting experiences I've had. And uh, moving on, this is something that happened recently in Stanford. I couldn't be there, unfortunately. Uh, but the thing about this particular event was that the competition in this one was MIT. You, all, you guys know MIT, right? MIT, Stanford University, uh, Virginia Tech, UC Berkeley, University of Waterloo. Those guys were our competitors. We were from NUST. So, <laughs> we didn't really expect anything. I, since I was home, I was like sleeping at that time. And then I get a call on Facebook, and it's like, hey, we won. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, sure, sure you did. <laughs> Turns out we actually won. It was like blowing up on the media. So, I was just like prepping for the PR then. But, this was actually a great experience as well. You know, we got to represent Pakistan in Stanford. And, you know, the people, from what I've been told, just when these guys pulled out the flag, everybody like, like awed and all that stuff. They really loved it. So the whole point of me talking about these two events is that there's going to be a lot of, you know, struggles and stuff in life. But the thing about uh, struggles is that when you go through it, I think you become a much better person.